Welcome to this Windows Server Basics video. In these videos, I will go over basic concepts related to the administration of Windows Server. These concepts work whatever supported version of Windows Server you're running, but my demo environment is running Windows Server 25. In this video, we're going to talk about configuring DHCP high availability and failover for the DHCP server role on Windows Server. In traditional DHCP deployments, you might use the 80-20 rule to configure two DHCP servers with separate scopes for the same subnet. One DHCP server leasing 80% of the addresses in a range, the other DHCP server leasing 20% of the addresses. If one of the DHCP servers failed, the other was still servicing the subnet and clients could still get addresses. DHCP failover in Windows Server is a feature that provides high availability and load balancing for DHCP services. It enables two DHCP servers to share the responsibility of leasing IP addresses and renewing client DHCP address leases. This setup ensures continuous DHCP service in case one server becomes unavailable. The failover relationship can operate in two modes. Load balancing, where both servers actively lease addresses to clients, or hot standby, where one server handles the majority of the load while the other remains on standby, ready to take over in the event of a failure. When a failover relationship exists, a partner server can renew a client's DHCP lease even if it wasn't the server that issued the lease as lease information is shared between the partner servers. To configure DHCP failover, we open the DHCP console from the Tools menu of the Server Manager console and then make sure that both servers that we want to configure the failover partnership for are present in the console. In this case, I have Tailwind DHCP1 already in focus as that's the server I'm connected to. I choose Add Server and the console queries Active Directory to find other authorised servers. I choose Tailwind DHCP2, which has IP address 10.10.10.30 from the list, and click OK. We're going to configure failover for the scope we created when I did the deploy a DHCP server and configure a scope video as I'm recording this straight afterwards. To do this, I expand Tailwind DHCP1, right click on IPv4, and then choose Configure Failover. On the Configure Failover wizard, it lists all of the IPv4 scopes on Tailwind DHCP1. As there is only one, 10.10.10.0 I choose Next. On the Specify the Partner Server to Use for Failover page, I click Add Server. From the list of servers, I can select one of the authorised servers, so I select Tailwind DHCP2, which has the IP address 10.10.10.30, and choose OK. I am then asked to specify which server will be used as the failover server. I want the 10.10.10.0 scope to failover to the partner server, so choose 10.10.10.30. On the Create a New Failover Relationship page, I accept the default relationship name. I am going with load balancing in a 50-50 relationship, which means that servers will try to balance issuing DHCP leases to clients. Each time one server issues a lease, communication will occur updating the DHCP database of the other server. The maximum client lead time refers to the maximum amount of time that one DHCP server is allowed to extend a lease to a client without consulting the partner server. Put another way, the lease duration is reduced from whatever it is set to at the scope level if one of the servers in the failover partnership is unavailable. The shared secret is provided to authenticate the first server to the second server. I click Next. And then when I configure Finish, the DHCP failover relationship is ready. If we now view the IPv4 nodes properties, we can see the failover tab lists the partner server, the status of the partnership, and the partnership mode. 
We can now use the DHCP Manager Console to check the IPv4 node of Tailwind DHCP2. And we can see that the scope 10.10.10.0 is present on the partner server. And that if we look inside the scope, the partner server is aware of the existing lease we configured in the previous video to Tailwind IIS. And that's how you configure DHCP failover and partnerships in Windows Server.